So you probably have heard about LUTs. So in this video, I want to talk about LUTs, how you apply LUTs and how you can import LUTs into DaVinci Resolve in, on your iPad. So if we're here on the color page, here on the top, you also have this icon LUTs. And LUTs is basically a lookup table. So you can save a color grade and you can, you have probably seen that many, many filmmakers have their own LUT packs. Even we have in the masterclass our own LUT pack. And what it is, you can, let's say here, you can create a node and then drag that LUT on top of this. For example, these are just some examples of the LUTs that I created. If you drag them on, you can change the result of your original image. And LUTs come in two categories. One is specific for color correction. So you use them as a co color correction tool. And then the other ones are LUTs for specific grades. So for example, if you ever had the problem in the past when you were using and working with LUTs and they show you this amazing LUT for orange and teal, like here this one now, for example, right? It looks so amazing. But if I do the same now, for example, on my log file, it doesn't look as great. Why? Because this LUT now is only for the grading after it's already corrected. So before I apply this LUT here, I should apply, let's delete this one, I first should apply something that corrects this image. And we talked about this already, so in, in this case, I would just make it simple. I would apply a color space transform because this is shot in C-Log3 from Canon. So I would say my input color space is Canon Cinema Gamut and then my input gamma is C-Log3. Even now using the color space transform, probably my shot was too dark. It was so much sun on that day that I just filmed this too dark. So I will make a second note just correcting the brightness now and I will bring up the midtone brightness, the highlights, the darkness can keep a little bit down here. Then bring those colors in balance. This is still not done. You could do a better job on it. But what I'm trying to tell you now is now I corrected my image. And if I now go to the LUTs and I want to apply on a new note this LUT here, and if I now even preview it, you see now already, now it looks so much better. Look at this. This is with color correction before. If you just apply that one LUT, it just looks ugly and you don't know why. Why can I not use it? Because there are different types of LUTs and also every LUT is made on top of something specific. So this one is a color grading LUT. So you have to put it on an already corrected image. And also those kind of images sometimes should represent like this orange and teal thing. Maybe you should even have oranges and blue colors in it so that it actually will recreate what this LUT can do. One more thing, always do the LUTs on the end, not the beginning, because it will destroy all the color information. And if you do color stuff later, it's already gone. So you should always put the LUT on the very end. So how can you now import your own LUTs? Let's go to the file system. Let's say you have your own LUTs that you downloaded. DaVinci Resolve can handle cube files. I will now select a cube file here and copy that one, copy. And now we navigate to DaVinci Resolve and you will find a LUT folder here. You can place your LUTs straight here, or you can even create your own folders. So for example, I had a Phoenix Nomades folder here, and then I paste this LUT in here. And if we now go back to DaVinci Resolve and go up here, right click on the LUTs, refresh, and now it's refreshing all the folders and everything. Now I can go down to Phoenix Nomades. I have this now separate, and now we have number six in here as well. So this would be this LUT here. So and this is how this one looks. If you don't work with a subfolder, all your LUTs will be in this main folder. So for example, here, when we make this a little bit bigger, change that to list, you will see now in here, we have folders and LUTs, right? If I change this back, already here in it, there are a couple of LUTs that Blackmagic and DaVinci Resolve has as a template. For example, here, let's delete all of this again, reset note. So this is my Canon log file. Here, for example, Canon log to Rec 709. Let's see how this one goes. Let's look at a log file that is maybe not as underexposed, maybe that one. So here, for example, one of the templates that I could now use with this footage, which is Canon Log. This one is still a bit too bright, but the main reason why is because not the LUT is wrong, it's because my settings were off and I was actually shooting it too bright, almost clipping the, the highlights. But you could still use that and try to reduce the amount. Or, for example, this one here, for that one shot, this actually doesn't look as bad. Some of the saturations are maybe not as good yet. So what about if you want to create your own LUTs from something that you created in here? So how can you do this? So let's say, for example, this shot that we talked about in the past. This one, let's say I want to save exactly how I color graded this one and with all of my settings. So you can do right click here, longer press, and you find here, generate LUT. And then you can go, for example, here to the 65 point cube and select the folder. In that case, I'm now doing this to the download. You can give it a name. Let's make this test orange and ONT and 
open. And so now if we go to the files, you have this one color grade now here. It's that one. So I can now do the same here, copy this one, bring this into my LUTs folder, bring it in here, paste. And if I refresh my folders and I now go to my own folder, Phoenix, test orange and teal. Just to show you, this was the original footage with my grades. And now here's the same one again without any color correction. And if you would apply this one here, it will look exactly the same. But be aware, a lot is not all of the notes that you have, right? A lot is something that will save it. You cannot go back to the notes. So it's basically if you save whatever you did and you want to share this with every platform out there. So you can use a lot in any software, but only DaVinci has the note system. So if you want to save what you actually did inside of DaVinci, let's say for example this one here, all of those notes, I can do grab a still, then we have this one, and I can right click and export that one. So then I have this one exported as a separate file. So anyway, this is a basic overview about LUTs. Just play around with them and see how they will affect your work.